what is the purpose of a fantasy book? I know, it is apparently a very stupid question, but maybe the answer isn't as obvious as it can seem. We live in a world where everything we do is leading to a precious purpose. We go to school to have a good job, have a good job to get well paid, get well paid to have a good pension, and uh, even what we read is conditioned by this. But if you think about it, every book seems to have a purpose except for the fantasy one. Trailers allow us to know what uh, other people think. An essay makes us learn something. Historical novels make us know how other people lived. But when do we pick up a fantasy book? To relax is the first thing almost everyone thinks about. We are told, taught, that a fantasy book is uh, something that you can uh, read on a beach uh, or at the end of a particularly hard day, something that is meant for children and teenagers. But if we really want to learn something, we have to read uh, classical books and authors like uh, Stendhal and Tolstoy and uh, forget uh, about uh, that kind of book that really doesn't teach us anything. And <laughs> At the end, we almost feel ashamed of uh, reading such a poor thing. How many times did it cross your mind that a fantasy book isn't a true book at all? At least one time for sure. In fact, uh, I thought about it too, and uh, I love the genre. My mom and my dad don't have a great imagination or like fantasy books. So I've uh, always felt uh, pretty judged every time I try to pick one of them up. You're gonna grow up someday, my father used to tell me, and uh, you are gonna get sick of that. It is always the same story. It uh, doesn't really give you anything. And, uh, well, I have to admit that I've almost believed them until I realized that uh, there is something that every fantasy book in the world, brilliantly written or not, teaches us more than any other genre. It uh, stimulates our imagination. Think about it. In uh, what other way can we create such uh, paradoxical and extravagant scenarios from nothing? The effort of uh, making what we are reading come alive, pretty lame if we are talking about our reality, is exponentially bigger if we are talking about uh, mythological creatures, monsters, or unrealistic landscapes. And this effort has advantages in our daily life. When we are little, everyone has imagination, even too much, like in my case, Let's just say that uh, I dreamt a dead girl who had been uh, shot in the head when I was like uh, four years old. But <laughs> when we grow up, uh, school, work, life uh, destroys piece by piece. The only way we can uh, still have it is uh, reading, uh, reading, imagining, and keep dreaming. And uh, if someone asked themselves what the purpose of imagination is, well, I want to tell you a story. When I was little in elementary school, my classmates hated me. They insulted me, put jokes on me, threw my things in the trash can, and uh, when we went on a school trip, uh, well, Let's just say that uh, I didn't want to go anywhere for months when I returned home. But now I'm here, I'm happy and uh, stronger than before, so how could I bear all of that? I made it because uh, in that year I managed to create my own fictional world where I was in control, I had uh, the power to do anything that I wanted. It gave me strength and confidence in uh, myself and in my abilities. 
But uh, imagination isn't only that. Like Albert Einstein said, logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. Every great discovery has been made because someone had been able to dare, had been able to imagine a project, a dream, and make it come alive. And uh, even in our reality, big companies, public and private ones, are looking for someone who is able to think outside of their box, able to imagine unrealistic ideas and make them come alive from nothing. Imagination can open us unexpected doors, but uh, only if we still have it. If we let it die, we will lose a great resource and chance for uh, us and our future. So think again about that question I asked you at the beginning of this talk. What is the purpose of a fantasy book? Would you still give the same answer? Thank you.